So to move keys around in the timeline here, all you have to do is select some keys actually by dragging a box around them. You can actually click on them straight away, but dragging boxes is the easiest way to select any keys here. You can select multiples and the shift selects and control shift selects work and control works as a takeaway. So remember control shift and those things just like in the 3D view. So to move a keyframe, we just have to select some keys, hit W, and then we hold the shift key down and middle click drag. Okay, so I'm gonna say that again. So we select some keys, we make sure in the move mode, which is this guy here, W, and then we hold down shift and then middle click drag in one view. Okay, now what will happen is if you don't hold shift down, you'll actually move on all axes and you very rarely wanna do that in the timeline. Holding down shift in the direction that we go first of all, will sort of like limit us to the one axis to the horizontal axis, which is time. It's exactly the same as doing this and moving those keys around. So if we wanted to move those keys there at frame 72, which is actually here, we can just hold down shift and then middle click drag that way. Okay, so if you want to move keys up in the axis, so just say for whatever reason, we want to move those up on the Z axis. We can see it's just moving it that way. We can do exactly the same thing, hold down the shift key and then middle click drag, move up like that. It's also worth noticing just if we are moving along the time, left and right, we do want to make sure that that snap key is on. That snaps the time to keyframes, to integer keyframes, so you won't get keys on these random keyframes like 88.586. It'll be in 86 or it'll be on 84, and that'll be a lot more obvious if we zoom in. We can see actually the frame numbers there. So just holding down the Apple key and the Shift key and then going left and right, and we can see that snapping to those keys, and that's because of this button here. It's not really very common to have a snap on vertical snap because that's value snap. And we usually want that to be like as per eye. We don't want to snap that way. So it's common to have that one on and that one off for the move modes.